My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with a Flash Letter Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and as well get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. This is episode number 29 of the 120 Days to Jam Mathematics with Flash Isaac. In this episode, we shall be answering jam standard questions on that change of subject formula. Also, post UTME standard questions on that change of subject formula. Also, work standard question, theory questions on that change of subject formula. Ladies and gentlemen, apart from the Flash Learners Jam app, there is also the Flash Learners Work app, Flash Learners Becker app, Flash Learners Common Entrance app, Flash Learners IGMB app, and as many exams as you can think of. So get anyone related so you enjoy, so you blast the examination. Now, in this first case, I will start by making you subject formula. I will also make A subject formula and make T subject formula. So you see the various things, the various steps, and the various techniques. For the first question, S is equal to U T plus 1 over 2 A T squared. If you are a physics student, you understand that this is one of the new things equations of motion used to find distance. So, we are starting with making u subject formula. You look at this. What is separating here and here? Multiplication. u times t. What is separating these guys? Multiplication. Half times a times t squared. And what is separating here and here? Here is simply addition. Why am I saying this? For this guy together, there is no way you can just pull one out of it. No. The only thing that can pull anything from here is division. The only thing that can remove anything from here is division. Meanwhile, the ones that are separated by plus or minus, you can do what we call change of subject from no collecting like terms. You move the one you don't want to the other side. And the ones that are separated by multiplication, they move together. Since we are making new subject formula, half a t squared is irrelevant to us. We need to clear the air, remove every rubbish, so that what we need remains. So, from here, we collect like term s plus half a t squared. As heavy as they are, they will have to take their trailer, move their load and everything to make s to become minus half a t squared. So everything is equal to ut. As these guys move, ut remains. But ladies and gentlemen, we are not looking for ut. We are looking for u. And what is separating u and t? Multiplication. And once, once multiplication is separating anything, there's only one thing you can do. Division. Division. So you divide both sides by a particular value. Here we divide by t and here we divide by t. t, t. So what is remaining is s is equals 1 over 2 a t squared. s minus 1 over 2 a t squared over t is equals u. If you see an option that is exactly like this, good for you. If you don't see option that is like this, it means jump is simplifying. S minus half a t squared divided by t is the same thing as S divided by t minus half a t squared divided by t. This is equal to u. This is the same thing as S over t minus 1t can remove 1 from this squared. Yes, this is very valid to have 1 over 2 a t is equal to u. So anyhow, they simplify it. Just make sure you know what you are doing. 
you know what you got. Ladies and gentlemen, that is your answer. If we are to make a subject formula, this one will move instead. This will remain. We have S minus U T is equals 1 over 2 A T squared. This is the same thing as S minus U T is equals A T squared divided by 2. Half A T squared is the same thing as A T squared divided by 2. You observe. Everything here, they are the other side. Everything here, they are this other side. This is the same thing as everything here divided by 1. If you have a single value, it is the same thing as divided by 1. So, this leads us to what I said earlier. When you have two fractions separated by equal to sign, what comes to your mind is cross multiplication. And cross multiplication is not a big English. It means cross and multiply. The arrows facing each other or the side facing each other multiply them. S minus UT and 2 are facing. So you have S minus UT times 2 is equals AT squared and 1 are facing. That is AT squared times 1. This is the same thing as 2 times S minus UT equals T squared. Food is obviously ready. Why did I say so? Since a and t squared are separated by multiplication, if you divide both sides by t squared, here by t squared, and here by t squared, obviously t squared divided by t squared is 1. A becomes 2 s minus ut all over t squared. That is basically your answer. Now, let's see the big boy question. Now, making t subject formula here, you look at something. Here, there is t squared, and here, there is t, and here, you have a single value. We can rearrange this to give us a polynomial equation. Look at this. If here is something like this, rearranging this, this will give you something like s is equals half a t squared plus u t. This is the same thing as half a t squared plus u t is equals s. Now, you see the descending power. t raised to the power of 2 raised to the power of 1. The next thing should be constant to give us the standard quadratic equation. That would be 1 over 2 a t squared plus u t minus s. This is equals 0. So from here, what do you see? This is a quadratic equation. Because the standard form of quadratic equation is a s squared plus b s plus c is equals 0. Comparing, you will see that A is equals 1 over 2 A. T squared, S squared, that is the standard. Then here, you will see that B is equals U. And here, C is equals minus S. The standard form of quadratic equation is also like A T squared plus B T plus c that is it given this quadratic equation the way to solve it to get these values is using the almighty formula let a be 1 over 2a and let c be minus s substituting here we will have s to be equals minus b that is minus u plus or minus b squared is u squared minus 4ac that is 4 times a is 1 over 2a 
times C. Oh, C is minus S. So minus S all over 2A is 2 times 1 over 2A. Basically interesting, right? So from here, we have S to be equals minus U plus or minus uh, U squared minus 4 times 1 over 2, that is 2. 2 times A, 2A. 2A times minus S, that is minus 2AS. Minus 2AS times minus, that is plus 2AS. So here will be U squared plus 2AS all over 2 times half A, that is A. 2 times 1 over 2 is 1. 1 times A is A. S is the standard for quadratic equation or quadratic formula but this time around the variable we are dealing with are in terms of t not s so here becomes t instead of s just the way we change here here becomes t and here becomes t so this is your answer you can simplify it to something like this t is equals instead of letting a be at the bottom you can bring out a 1 over a then minus u plus or minus square root of u square plus 2as so anyway we see question like this in theory in the university that is how it is solved so this is like the most difficult question you will see on that change of subject formula in all level even in hundred level you hardly see hard questions like this but i'm training you for the worst so you know everything everything i teach you here are the standard when you get to the exam hall, no question will be above all the standard. The questions you'll be seeing are simpler, simpler questions. And that is how it is supposed to be. We go to a 9-5 with a gun. Here we are making C subject formula. So from W is equals V 2 plus C N over 1 minus C N. From here, you see that this is the same thing as W over 1. Since we have two fractions separated by equality sign, what comes to our mind is cross multiply to have W times 1 minus CN is equals 1 times V 2 plus CN. This will be for your assignments because we solve more difficult questions. You answer this yourself. Then here, this is what you do. This is the same thing as over 1. So cross multiplying, 3 times t. 3t is equals k arrow to the power of 3 plus m. Okay, here make h subject formula. Such a simple question. From here, 3t minus m is equals k arrow to the power of 3. Dividing both sides by k, we are left with arrow raised to the power of 3. So, arrow raised to the power of 3 is equals 3t minus n over k. The thing is, we are not looking for arrow raised to the power of 3. We are looking for arrow. So, since this is arrow cube, I told you that to remove cube, you find the cube root of both sides. To remove this cube root, you say cube root of arrow raised to the power of 3. Because cube root is root to the power of 1 over 3. Just like square root is root to the power of 1 over 2. So this is also cube root. So cube root cancels cube. R becomes the cube root of 3t minus n over k. If in this answer, R is equals cube root of 3t minus n over k, I say make k the subject formula. Since everything here is covered by cube root and you are making k subject formula, the first thing you would have done or you would do is look for the cube root, cube of both sides. Here will be raised to the power of 3 and everything here raised to the power of 3 to remove the cube. After removing the cube, then you solve normally. To remove square, square root both sides. To remove square root, square both sides. Square root is like this. Square is raised to the power of 2. To remove cube, that is raised to the power of 3, look for the cube root, 
of both sides. And to remove cube root, look for the cube of both sides. Raise both sides by three. These are the basic operations you need to answer almost any question when it comes to a change of subject formula. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you found this helpful. Let us proceed to other things we need to know under polynomials.